based on a new machine, the power loom. Raw cotton comes in, finished cloth goes out, all under one roof. The modern factory is born. Lowell, Massachusetts is called the city of spindles, a textiles boom town. Population explodes from 200 in 1820 to nearly 20,000 in just 15 years. More than a third of the town works in the mills. 85% are single women between 15 and 25. Harriet Robinson is 10. When her father dies, she goes to work at the mill. I can see myself now, racing down the alley, between the spinning frames and carrying in front of me a bobbin box bigger than I was. Women earn money for the first time. Harriet's wages help support her family. Industrialization is changing everyone's lives. Oh, the mill girls make good use of their money. The mortgage is lifted from the homestead. The farmhouse is painted. Mill girls help maintain widowed mothers and drunken or invalid fathers. We were paid $2 a week. Oh, how proud I was when it came to my turn to stand upon the bobbin box. When women really joined the workforce in the cotton mills and the thread factories, I think it gave women an opportunity to get out, be serious about being breadwinners, and it changed the whole fabric of America. The mills also revolutionize how Americans dress. Mass production of cheap cotton fabrics spawns America's clothing industry. Previously, most families made their own clothes. Now, people buy ready-to-wear. Eastern fashions replace buckskin. By 1850, men's clothing is the largest manufacturing industry in New York City. For me, what makes me uh, proudest uh, to be an American is that American spirit of productivity, optimism, this idea that the world doesn't have to be doom and gloom, that we can use technology to make our lives better. Fashion isn't the only innovation to come out of the mills. Technology developed here will lead straight to Silicon Valley. Looms pioneer punch cards to produce patterned fabric. Each hole in the card tells the loom to use a different colored thread, a yes-no decision. It's binary code the basis of all modern computers. The birth of the computer and internet began in cotton mills with these looms. You know, in every major development, I think, in the history of America, technology has been at, at, the, at the center of it. Despite 12-hour shifts, the factories offer a new world of opportunity for women. They're reading more, talking more, educating themselves. Yeah, reading books on factory time was against the rules. But we hid books in apron pockets and waste baskets. Oh, and sometimes we pasted poems on our looms to memorize. And for the first time in America, their voices are heard. October 1836. Women from the Lowell Mills gather after work and organize. Their protest against wage cuts is one of the first strikes in U.S. history. And they will win. The mill bosses back down. A generation of young women go on to become teachers, writers, and even college graduates. Harriet Robinson will become a leading suffragette and testify before Congress. They're the first wave in a movement that results in women getting the vote. Their secret meetings at night are only possible with the light from lamps powered by an extraordinary creature. Whale oil opened up the night, and like so many really transformative uh, technological innovations, it expanded human freedom. It created a way for people to get more, do more, and, and achieve more. 